All right, uh, Sydney Carter, just talk about being a national champion. What's it like? Uh, it's like none other, I can say. Um, it's kind of the same feeling you have every other day you wake up, but you know, you just have that title that you're a national champion, uh, or national champion. So I don't think that it'll really hit home until I wake up every day with my ring on my finger. Um, but you know, it's just, I'm just living my everyday life. It's nothing, nothing different other than the day I actually won and I could actually say I'm a national champion. What have you done and what did you do this summer to improve your game? Uh, I worked on my ball handling skills um, so that I can make sure that he's still confident in me playing the position uh, or point guard position when he needs me to. And um, I just worked on my shot, making sure that it stays consistent and you know I can be a, a bigger threat than I was last year at the two guard. What was it like going to the White House? Uh, it was it was very interesting. I had never been to D.C., so it was my first time um, getting to see everything and getting to see all the monuments and the you know all the tributes and everything like that so it was just nice for me to actually tour the White House and actually get to meet the president uh, you know a lot of people actually really want to do that so um, it was just a once-in-a-lifetime experience and hopefully we can do it again which leads me to will this team be different than last year's team and if so how uh, definitely because we don't have Daniel Adams who was such a big um, presence for us and we're gonna miss Sydney's leadership um, so it's definitely going to be a, be a different team because we have different leaders on this team this year and not everyone's going to lead the same way that Sydney did last year. So I'm just hoping that I can pick up the slack and make sure that I can do as much as I can as a leader verbally and by example to make sure that we can get you know as far as we can. Tell me about the freshmen. How have you done so far? Um, you know, they're making their freshman mistakes, um, which is normal, um, but they're also doing some good things that we're going to need them to do in, in game time. So, you know, they're just catching along as quick as they can and trying to make sure that they can find their spot on the team and play within their cells. Has your time at AM seemed to fly by? It definitely has. It feels like just yesterday I was stepping in as a freshman and now I'm saying, you know, I'm a senior, I'm a leader, and I'm playing my last season in the Big 12 and, and finishing my career at A&M. So it's gone by a little too fast for me, but I'm going to make sure I make the most out of this year. Tell me about Sydney Colson. <laughs> Gosh, what do you want to know? Will you miss her this year? I'm definitely going to miss her this year. Um, on the court, we just, we had that connection on the court and um, you know, we even had moments in the game where we would just l look at each other and laugh just because we know how goofy each other are or each other are. And, um, you know, I'm going to miss her off the court because she's the only one that's goofy with me. And now everybody just looks at me crazy when I do something funny. So I miss her already. Do you have plans or dreams, aspirations to play pro ball? Um, I haven't decided yet. I'm kind of going back and forth on uh, what I want to do. I feel like I'll base it off of um, how the season goes and um, you know how well I play this year and if I have a future in basketball then I definitely am going to take that option but if not then I'll have to get ready for the real world. And one last thing what do you expect from uh, the team this year? Um, I just expect us to kind of mash together um, I'm not sure when we'll actually do that but I just hope that we play as a unit as one unit I think that um, we just need our, our group of leaders to really step up this year and make sure that our team is playing, um, you know, as one. And I think that we really need to have that balance this year on this team and make sure that it's not just a focal point on one person or two people on this team. So I just think that we really need balance.